Now it's time for Calling All Horror Hounds. <laughs> this week, Horror Hounds, we're talking about an Italian uh, 80s horror classic that I had not previously seen, but I have heard of. We are talking about Demons, uh, the first film in the Demons uh, franchise, which is one of the most bizarre franchises from a point of view of how the sequels work and relate to each other of any franchise out there. I'm not going to get into it right now, but do yourself a favor, try looking online for stuff about how the Demons franchise work. It's pretty weird. I am going to recommend to you, I'll recommend to you the, uh, the Collins Crypt article on the subject over at Birth Movies Death. Birth Movies Death being one of my favorite websites and Collins Crypt being one of my favorite columns. But what does that have to do with demons? What is demons? What's going on? Demons is the story of some Italians with overdubbed American voices hanging around a really cool movie theater, having been invited to a special screening at that movie theater by a dude with a face that is one half metal, because, you know, that's not a red flag right there. And uh, when you start watching the movie, the movie does something uh, that starts making people turn into demons. And slowly but surely, our regular humans are whittled away as more and more of them turn into demons. This movie is insane. There is not, as Joe Bob Briggs would say, a ton of plot to get in the way of the story. And frankly, I liked it that way for this one. This is, it's a, it's a gore fest. There's a lot of, there's at every moment tons of crazy stuff going on that you don't really know what the story is, does not inhibit the movie at all. It looks fabulous. It's, you know, there are certain Italian horror films, I'm looking at you, Suspiria, that are just tremendous looking, and this movie is, while not in the same way as Suspiria, which is a very technicolor sort of horror flick. This is more of an 80s neon looking one. Still absolutely fabulous. There's some really solid special effects here. We do leave the demon haunted theater for a little bit in the movie to spend some ta time with some uh, punks and, their w and some really weird scenes involving them trying to do cocaine that I could have done without. The ending, meanwhile, is absolutely awesome. The movie has a truly terrific nihilistic ending that I enjoyed very much and is very much in fitting with the rest of this gonzo picture. Can't recommend it highly enough, but that said, it's still, you know, it's still, that lack of a story does hold it back a little bit. Demons, three and a half stars. And don't forget to visit our website, northmetrotv.com slash everymovieever. There, you can watch reviews of every movie we've ever covered here on the show, as well as complete episodes. That's northmetrotv.com slash everymovieever.